Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2019 Stage Racer, episode number 60. Uh, we're moving through a, a less important race this time. This is the... That. <laughs> uh, don't ask me to pronounce that. Italian, not my thing. Alright, well, anyway. Uh, stage 2, stage 1 was a sprint stage, but it was actually won by a breakaway. Uh, they've got about a minute and a half lead over the field. Those handful of riders and and they kind of split up in the final kilometers. So uh, there are already some time gaps, and with just 11 kilometers, uh, I'd rather call this a prologue than a time trial. I know anything more than five kilometers technically is a time trial, and it's stage two, so again, kind of defeats the terminology of what is applied to a prologue, but uh, it's still just, ah, I, I've got to go with prologue for this. 11.3 kilometers and three stages to come after this. Uh, Henry Kamas is here. Roglic is here. Not seeing too many other big names. Nelson Oliveira. Oh, it's a team. It's a team time. It's a team prologue. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, Enrico Barbin is the current leader. And I only have four teammates here, uh, three teammates here. There's only four of us here as the team is loaded with races right now. Uh, De Marquis is here. Fabio Aru is here. So there's a little bit of competition out there, but I, I'm actually not even sure what this race kind of has in store for us. Uh, I would imagine we're going to be towards the yeah back end team classification right now is 22nd. Uh, as none of us were in that breakaway, so uh, mostly down to having such a small team here. So this race might not go, hopefully, uh, or might not go what we hope it will go as, or maybe it's just four member teams, because look who has four. Oh no, that's us. That's us! There you go. No wonder we're at the back. <laughs> Uh, I do have team control, that's good. Uh, we'll go full 99s, and for myself, I definitely want to be on the front for a little while. But I have no idea how these guys are in the time trial. Killing, no idea. Oh, Hepburn's pretty good. Definitely put him on the front. Uh, Smith is not so much. So between the two of us, maybe, just maybe, put up a decent time, but I've got to be really careful on energy burn. Hit burn with a good turn at the front. Now Smith... Smith's not good, so he won't be there for long. I might be bringing us the rest of the way. At this point, I think I have enough energy to pull us over the line. Uh, but if we get down to it, we'll pull off the front. Make sure we don't get dropped here. 1K to go. And yeah, we'll make it. We'll make a cross pulling the team. Should be a decent time, even though there's only four of us. Uh, two good time trialists. Okay, not even a time showing up yet. Oh, we have no time because we don't have enough teammates. I wonder how that one's going to work. I mean, we should have the time that we crossed. We're just not in the actual team competition for the day. Yeah, hopefully we didn't just break the game. <laughs> we should have a time in there. Astana goes quickest on the day. 
where do we fit in? 1311 was their time. So we weren't even given a time because there's only four writers. Well, that sucks. So they, they put us five minutes behind and they put Barry and Marita five and a half minutes behind. Because we only had four writers and not five. Okay, so yeah, game's bugged. We had fewer than five writers. But what, what are we supposed to do, right? So we're on stage number four. Uh, this race is really over. It looks like, maybe not necessarily a bug, but the fact that we had four riders instead of taking the time on the fourth rider, which you're already at a disadvantage having less team members than other teams, which is what I think they do in real life, we were given what appeared to be a five-minute penalty, which means we actually would have won the stage if not for the five minute penalty, because we were a couple seconds less than five minutes behind, or at least that appears to be what the case was. But because of that, and because of that breakaway that won the first stage by a minute and a half, the lead rider in this race is still one of those breakaway riders. There's been one little punchy stage, which actually I took third on uh, with Moss and Roglic, the top two. No surprise by the trio at the front. But here for stage four, the climbing stage four, not that there's much of a climb to it, but it's definitely some uphill. Uh, and we're already kind of at the base of that very slow uphill drag throughout this race. Well, being six minutes behind, having just four riders, the team decided that the objective would be all four of us to attempt to get into the break and do what we can with that. Uh, which makes sense under the circumstances. So here we are. It was actually a very difficult breakaway to get into today. Uh, the field was very keen on controlling what the breakaway would be. And there was at least seven or eight attempts before the breakaway really formed. It was not long before this first sprint point. Luckily that whole area was flat. Uh, I did not attempt each and every time to get into the breakaway. There was just too much damage being done, too much pace, too much chase. But I timed it right, got into the right move, actually started the right move, and was fortunate enough to get my teammate Smith into it. So once it actually was formed, I was quite tired making it happen, getting as far enough out. Uh, I was able to then back off and allow Smith to take over. He was one of the last ones to join the break, so he was a lot fresher than I was and hadn't taken any turns at the front. So now it's his turn. He's doing the work. I'm resting on the back, and of these nine, if we have any chance of winning the stage today... I'll blow all eight of these guys away, especially when you have Smith for help. So for them, all eight of them, I see it as their cogs in the wheel for helping get me the stage. And that's going to come largely down to Smith. Now here's the thing, though. Uh, there has been... Uh, Peloton has not been too keen on us being away. And they've never really sat up. There was, uh, right after this first sprint point, just as we started going uphill, Peloton seemed to sit up for just a little bit in our one-minute gap that we finally reached. Very quickly opened to two minutes. And then that was it. Yeah, I, they, they sped right back up. So for the breakaway, we never even let off the gas. Uh, I wasn't recovering until I essentially decided uh, to let Smith take over in that 
we had enough of a gap that the peloton wasn't going to chase it down so it's been a difficult stage so far now the thing is peloton outside of a few riders really isn't that strong so and most of the teams do appear to be on the smaller side not just us you know yes there's only two teams that brought four riders and everybody else brought five or more but i definitely did notice that there were quite a few teams that only had about five riders so there's enough races right now on the calendar that a lot of the teams were kind of strapped and you can see that the peloton already down to 80 riders and getting smaller all the time <laughs> as it yo-yos back to 115 <laughs> Uh, I suppose that's because of the descent that we were just on. Uh, in the meantime, we reopened the gap. We're back out to two and a half minutes as they had pulled back a little time on us. So the climbing right, gives me an, an advantage that if we have any sort of gap, I could and should stay away. Uh, but I really can't do anything until the final climb, which there isn't much to it where I can leave these guys behind. But I can't go too early, otherwise the peloton is just going to chase me back. There's enough the sections less than the three degrees that the flat rating is going to be a thing. And my flat rating, you know, today is a 67. But at least I've got my breakaway objective matched. I'd say with a two-minute gap, uh, I'm not going to win the stage today. Uh, but if I'm fresh and the peloton catches me, then... There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to then just ride and compete among those guys there. But I don't necessarily think that it's going to come down to uh, a climber today. Because, well, I don't know, maybe. Peloton, 35, 39, 60. Okay, it's still yo-yoing. But riders are definitely being dropped. Gaps are starting to open just from these little inclines. There, There's not much to it but realistically what we're facing here is a situation where the pace the chase has been so hot smith really using himself up but he is now at wit's end he's he's got nothing left uh, and we will be caught but all of a sudden there's only five riders that are about to catch us so maybe just maybe once they get here and they are here now. There's 14 of us. Let's see who is here. Moss, Roglic, Aru. There you go. So we have a small peloton now. Uh, the, the big thing is if the pace comes out of the group or not. I'm going to push 85 to make sure we stay ahead. There you go. You can see the gaps going the right direction. Minute 20, down to 13, down to 12. So we're leaving guys behind. Yeah, that does include Smith, so I did just leave Smith behind. Uh, but we'll have plenty of time to rest and recover over the top. Down to three. Roglic. Chirico. Moss is not in it. So that chase was really difficult. Okay, now I recover and I get water. I'm guessing Moss is, wow. Moss is not even in the front few groups here. He got dropped early. Oh, that's good. Because now it's just Roglic and how is Roglic looking these days? 80 on the mountains, 74 resistance. And it won't be easy. And we're back up to four. But that took nothing out of me. I mean, I'm already fully recovered. Uh, we are seeing a little acceleration here by Bruno. Rohan Dennis. <laughs> Rohan Dennis is every single attack that I've seen. <laughs> so I just want to stay with this guy. It opens a little gap. We're just riding on the downhill, riding on his wheel. You can see, yeah, it used a little bit of red bar. Used a tiny bit of yellow bar, 
but it's giving us a small advantage before we go into the climb and it also makes sure that he doesn't get away because if I was sitting up and they're sitting up waiting for me to do the chase, guess what's going to happen? Right? This guy gets out to a minute, minute and a half gap and now Roglic actually has been dropped. He's a minute 20 behind. Trico and Bruno, no problem. Minute 20 to Ruglitch. Moss, minute 15. So they're coming together. Oh, how did they make contact with us from a minute 20 behind? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay, it's it was 20 seconds, not a minute 20. Gotcha. Okay, here comes the next acceleration. It's Ruglitch. Definitely going with that one. Slightly slow reaction here. But I've not been wasting energy in this chase. These technical sections, though, we're not pulling them back, so I've not been cycling hard here. He really isn't riding that hard, and we are definitely opening a gap behind us. 20 seconds going backward. So I was looking at this for time, and I'm looking at the E1. There you go. Finally, we make that contact. And now, Roglic is kind of forced into uh, playing his role. Really? Now we can't follow? <laughs> 5k to go. And use my gel. Just trying to cover this gap comfortably. There you go. And now we sit on. Wait until that gel kicks in and then maybe we attack him. Here comes the steepest section. This is the time to get away. It's now a two man race. We have a two minute gap over the field. Gel has kicked in. Okay, we sit up, we sit up. Two and a half minute gap, and yeah, he's, that didn't beat him up, so he was doing strong enough. Two man race, we're gonna get a top two today, but can we get that final one? 1K to go. And there goes the mad burst for the final oh, he's got nothing left. He's got nothing left for the sprint, we got it. And look at that, perfectly timed. We had about 30 meters of sprint left in us. Got the win. Not the GC win that we should have. We're going to move way up the order. Way up the order. But we're definitely not going to win because of that five minute, five minute penalty we got for having four riders in the time trial. Moss comes back for third. Huge gaps here. I mean, we're already looking at six minutes, so I'll be back in the top ten. Fabio Aru, just 17th for him. Nicola Conchi, just 16th. Housen's here, finished 14th. Where were those guys? Fabio Fellini, 20th. Some pretty decent climbers there. That were nowhere to be seen. So that breakaway that I got into, that really created the chance today. And all of that made possible by having my teammate in that break with me. So once again, uh, even though I've had a bit of uh, a lack of luck in this race for the overall, on today's stage... I benefit from this team. So as much as it hurt that we lost all those climbers, this team has done more for me through the first, what, five races of the year than CCC did as a team 
in the entirety of last season. Which, by the way, if you remember, CCC had literally zero wins besides the victories that I claimed on the season. And they helped me maybe twice the whole year in any decent manner. And again, I, I don't win today's stage if Smith isn't in the breakaway with me working because he blew up the peloton by putting in a really, really good work rate in the break. Uh, let's see where that puts us for the overall. There is one stage left to go. I have no idea what the profile is for that last stage and whether that means race over or not. Just low enough profile race that I just wasn't concerned with how it was all going to come out. But we win by 22 seconds. 2.45 ahead of Moss. Three minutes ahead of this next group. And we hit the five minute gap here. 6.12 to Smith. So in the general moves me up to ninth place. Again, if you shave five minutes off of this, which it was about 457 that we lost on that stage after that penalty, right? We would have probably won the stage and I was the one who crossed the line first, so I should have had a stage victory there if I only had one more rider. If I had that right on how that worked anyway, we'd be in the race lead by roughly that exact gap that we had. But Roglic and Moss, both of Astana here, are now the top two. And remember, we started with that, you know, minute and a half deficit to the uh, first stage breakaway that had six, eight riders be ahead. I am second in both the points and the KOM. Fourth in the under 25s. As a team, we jump to ninth from last place. But I at least I get this 27 points. Something better than nothing. And it's yet another victory on the season. Piling those on pretty early. That's where most of our team is, by the way. Catalonia that I think I've participated in just about every other year besides this one. Let's see what that final stage is going to be. It's also the end of the month, so we're going to pick up uh, another 65 points. Stage 5 is an individual time trial. Well, already then, it's a very short one. It's a weird little race here. Uh, I would have won this thing hands down if we had but one more team member. Uh, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Let's see if we can take another stage. We set off 14 kilometers to go. It's very short. It is a little bit of a mix of time trial, prologue, a little more prologue than time trial. So we've got an 80 on the time trial today, 75 prologue. So I'd say that puts us at about a 77 between the two of them. Uh, in terms of favorites, Roglic is the favorite. I'm the second favorite overall. And my team, I love this about this team, is I've been actually, I've actually been receiving realistic uh, realistic objectives in this case top three so as we're going through right now even though we do have a negative one race day condition you can see actually we're worked out quite well with uh, our fitness level being what it is and i think we're kind of right about where we should be on energy second place at the check there are still eight riders behind me my teammate hepburn with a 17 second edge and the lead overall at the moment. So he's looked like he's in pretty good shape today. We already saw that he's about a 75 as uh, we're about to pass up Zardini. So we know we're well ahead of him, the 10th place rider. Yeah, I'm 
just about there. I think I need to back off just slightly to make sure we don't run out of energy before the finish line. Here in the final two kilometers. Now, back on that first check, there's other riders that have now crossed the line, and they're all still behind me so far. But I don't think everybody's crossed that line just yet. Oops, down 76. Very technical through here. Wow, that just wasted energy. You see that? That little technical section just burned energy that nothing else has. And we run out of energy just a few meters before the line, but we do just enough to pip our teammate at the line. Hepburn drops to second place, three seconds behind us. We get a time of 18.48. The 10th place rider just finished. Now the 8th place rider it comes across. He's a minute behind. We'll move up in the standings, I think. Uh, yes, we should. Bruno, we should move ahead of him as well, so we'll move at least into the top seven now. Almeida... No, he's 15 seconds behind, so uh, we'll remain behind him. Uh, Chirico, looks like if he stays more than a minute behind, we'll move up ahead of him. Yeah, a minute and a half. Barbin's going to take... No, we won't be behind him. That's two riders still ahead of us. Uh, Bizzoli, it's going to take nearly two minutes, about a minute and a half or more. Uh, for us to beat him on the line, and it's a minute and a half, but somebody else was right there with him. That was Roglic. Rog no, Roglic. Okay, Roglic takes the stage. We get second. Uh, if it was longer, and it came down more to the time trial, that 80 would have helped us a lot more, but being down at a 77 because of the short distance, we need to really boost that prologue rating at some point. But the thing about it is there's always less time, right? Those 15 seconds. Uh, we do enough to move into fourth place by one second ahead of Barbin. Uh, we were 11 behind Almeida. Moss stays in second. Roglic claims the victory. So despite a five-minute penalty awarded us for missing one rider on that team time trial, we win by... Uh, we lose by less than five minutes we lose by less than four uh, uh no we lose by less than five my bad uh we would have won this race if it were not for that but that's okay we get fourth place we get a stage we got a second place we quick simmed and got a third place so there were a few decent results in there. This also meets the team objective, but I kind of get second everywhere. We end up just 11 seconds behind Almeida, so second in the sprints, second in the KOM, second in the Young Rider classification, second on the stage. So there's a big old two on our back, which ironically, there usually is a big old two on my back, as that's my number I wear uh, on my soccer teams. So there you go. Uh, apparently it was meant to be. So yeah, fourth overall. Just seconds away from the podium. It's a good recovery. And again, if not for that five minute, right? Shave off that five minutes, we beat Roglic by six seconds. It's a good little battle. We moved up to 7th as a team. Sixty-eight points for the race. We're going to add 65 more. We're at 100% satisfaction. It obviously could have and should have been a win. But it's not the end of the world. Decent little accumulation of points. And we know, you know what really happened with that. Well, hello, discussion of contract 2023. There you go. There's that 65 points. And we're now 66 points away from leveling up. So guarantee level 26 will come by no later than the 1st of May. Because there's no way I'm not getting at least one point this month. Okay, <clears throat> uh, here we go. Wow, 
we have four contact of interest points now. And it looks like every team, every single team is now in for us. In fact, we're all the way down to the bottom here uh, with Mitchelton Scott on the list. So we're going to have our full range of choice. Now, Mitchelton Scott right now doesn't care to have us back. They will. They will as the season goes on. I'm actually surprised there's not already more interest now with the results we've had. But as we continue to grab results between now and August, their interest in us is going to jump. Everybody else, less so, but it's going to jump as well. So really, we, we kind of have our pick of the litter now on who we're going to take, especially with four contacts of interest. AG2R, Astana, not a chance. Sunwebs, uh, maybe. There's a lot of points there, and there is some interest already. Uh, Bora, not really GC-oriented. Direct Energy, not a chance, though we've come in as a team leader, but you can see just how high they've moved up the list from Continental Pro to, uh, right now, looking as the best four-star team out there. Uh, Movie Star, that team does not know how to handle GC, even though that's exactly what kind of team they are. Uh, but their whole Alejandro Valverde, Nairo Quintana mess of the last, most of the last decade, uh, just don't want to get involved in that. I'm surprised EF Education first is this high, but I think I really have just three choices. Enios, Jumbo Visma, Duquenne Quickstep. Strong teams, strong GC contenders, though you would argue that Jumbo Visma and Enios are going to be a little bit better in that regards. I think Jumbo Visma has a few really strong team leaders, but otherwise drop off a bit more than Ineos do. But that's real life. I don't know where these guys are right now. And I think for that, we're going to have to take a look at our teams list. Or well, maybe we start from the transfers. So we're probably looking at really just those few teams. Uh, but let's let's see who's already signed up on the various teams right now. Uh, you've got Latour, Bardet, <laughs> Alessande, Hamilton. Wow. So AG2R has actually built pretty dang well for GC already. And we would come in as team leader. That wouldn't be a terrible choice. Astana. Sorry, just won't. Won't go there. Barry Marita, no way. Bora, no, not built for it. This is what I was talking about. You've got a Venipole out of 77. But that's it. Dan Martin, no. See, they're, they're lacking in GC right now. That doesn't mean they won't get back there. Sure they will. But not with the guys they've already got signed. Uh, that, that's what I thought when it came to EF Education first. They might be strong overall, but they're not built for GC. Ooh, Team Emirates, huh? This looks like, uh, maybe it was Corn in Circus? Vanderpool? Or Katusha? Probably it was Katusha. Groupama FDJ, not a chance. Auto at all, no way. Poor Mitchelton Scott. I'm loving this team on what they've done this year. But look at that. Zero support going forward. There's very little this year, and they've done well with what we have. But imagine what we could do with real support out there. Okay. The Yates brothers. And Thomas. Jan Hurt. That's your top four guys, plus some other climbers. That's not bad. That is not bad at all, actually. But uh, uh, to me, this is the villain team. Sorry. You know, every, everybody's got to have teams that they are that they like, teams that they're neutral on, and there's always got to be one or two teams that you're just that that just rub you the wrong way. And for me, that's. <laughs> that's this team even though they've got three British leads right now that's that's 
that's the team that just rubs me the wrong way. And a lot of it's tactics. A lot of it's the dirty tactics, right? Somebody has a mechanical and then they accelerate. Mm. Yeah, just, mm. just can't deal with it. Uh, not a chance for those guys. Uh, Dimension Data is not built for anything. Okay, here's Idios. <clears throat> this team is not what it was. But just 13 riders signed up right now. I'm sure they have tons of budget still. Sivakov. That'd be a great support rider. And I'm I'm far enough ahead of him to be the team leader. Same with Bernal <laughs> and Landa. That's a lot of support. Same with Kwiatkowski. Good climber, but even better puncher. Would give you support in either way. Same with Moscon. Even Felipe Ghana, right? He's not just a time trialist. That is a team that is still built for GC. And it looks like they're in need of a new absolute team leader, like myself. And I know there's some haters out there when it comes to Enios slash Sky, but uh, I am not one of them. I told you, Movie Star is the villain. Who are they the rival of? Of course it's these guys. Not a fanboy, but you know. Okay, here's Jumbo Visma. This was the one I was really curious about. Where are they? Van Aert. Yeah, that's not built well. Not right now, anyway. Uh, that's not built well for GC at all right now. I mean, Van Aert's okay as a GC guy. Sunweb, no way. I think our and our decision is made. Carapaz, but that's not enough by itself. That's a team that really needs to rebuild right now. Chacone and Egg. It's decent, but that's not enough. AG2R actually is a pretty dang good choice. But I think it's got to be Enios. Based on who they have coming back, who they have signed up already, having those riders around me, I could win some races. Uh, I could win some Grand Tours, maybe. So, yeah, that's, that's the direction we're going to go. Again, I, I suspect it's not going to be the popular choice. But I, I actually am interested in winning. Believe it or not, it'd be nice. And a team like that, at your back, could be a five-star team. But yeah, after that, HE2R is, is probably the next best choice right now. <clears throat> okay then. Well, that settles that, and that also settles things for this episode. Go ahead and do a quick check-in. How are we? Where are we? How's life? Ninth in the World Tour rankings. Second in the Super Prestige. We've topped a thousand points. It's not bad. It's not bad. I think the, the thing that I really like is we've had 11 victories. 11 victories this season already. And some of those at World Tour level. So things are going well. Things are definitely going well. Uh, level 26 to come, but I think that's skill point only. We had attributes last time out, so it's going to be a while before we level up again. But we are solidly at an 80 as a stage racer right now really the only areas that we are hurting is our flat rating and then the only areas that could use a little bit more stamina sprint 
prologue. Maybe a couple points to downhill. Uh, but otherwise, looking pretty solid. I mean, I'd, I'd still love to have more resistance. Another point or two to mountains and hills. Right? I, I think anybody would love a point virtually everywhere other than Baradour, which means literally nothing in pro cyclist mode. Uh, cobble rating, right? You might get a cobbled stage here or there, like say in the Tour de France. It happens. I mean, it'd be nice to go win Paris Nice, but that's not happening. Flat rating, cobble rating like that. <laughs> Zero chance, but it'd be nice. It'd be nice to win every race, right? It's not going to happen. You have to specialize, and we are specialized. And when it comes to our specialty, we're pretty dang good. We make up for the flat rating with teammates, as long as teammates are actually there to support you. We make up for stamina, again, with teammates, if they're protecting you till the final stages. The stamina shouldn't be much of a factor. Uh, the prologue one does hurt me a little bit. You know, there's a little bit of time loss there. But like we saw in that last one, we took second. Roglic was 15 seconds ahead. So a full time trial, we're going to be 45 seconds ahead, a minute ahead. So I'd rather, you know, I'd rather be a little weaker on prologue than time trial, which we, is where we're at. The sprint, always a thing, right? You lose more races this way, not having top speed. But good acceleration gets you away to win stages like we did against Roglic on that climb. So there's a lot of give and take. I like where we're at. There's still more to be had. You know, we're far from being a complete racer yet. We're far from being, let's say, a grand champion just yet. But we're getting close. And if we get another one to two levels worth of attributes by the start of next season... And if we have, in fact, joined any else with all those riders and one or two more strong riders coming back, man, oh man, what will we be capable of a year from now? I think that could be our push for for the super prestige thousand points, right? That the max, uh, not thousand, right? It would be five thousand. Uh, but the Game of Decathlon version of a thousand. Two, we're already, we're already twenty percent of the way there. Beginning of April, three months into the season. Anyway, this was a good one. This was a good one. Even though that race had that one negative aspect to it, I'm feeling good about where we're at now. I'm feeling really good, especially with the prospects for next year now revealing themselves. I'm the Catholic Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.